Hello guys, what's going on? So this is Robo Kishan again. This is vlog number 02. So you might have seen my previous vlog about uh, gateway, finding based gateway, which uh, I find that pay money was comfortable for me. But then I receive an email which says pay money is shutting down. So finally I am again in trouble. So the next thing is going to happen. I use Linux for maybe full time and videos just for like MATLAB and other softwares which don't available in Linux. But the problem with Arch Linux, which I am using for at least three years, which I build for my need. But the problem with Arch Linux is updates. I was using Manjaro Linux, which is based on Arch Linux. Then I switched to uh, vanilla Arch Linux, but both of them have a problem with packages. Like Manjaro is like, it is depend it depends on Arch. It, de it uses Arch repository, but the problem with Manjaro is it's not stable. Like the stable release of Manjaro is also unstable. Like uh, one package needs another, uh, another one package needs another version of the dependency and the second packet needs second version of the repo uh, same file like same library so I get stuck in updates and the same problem got in Arch Linux Arch Linux is a rolling re release like you have to update it like in a week or maybe monthly you can't update every month because you have to really update it very often like uh, in, in a week so I am thinking about moving again for Ubuntu any beginner who, who wants to use Linux start with Linux Mint or Ubuntu but the problem with Ubuntu is you have to add so many PPA for so many different softwares like uh, so many softwares are not available in official repository whereas in Arch is it has AUR which is bank of packages it has lots of packages you don't have to add any PPA in Arch Linux but the problem with Arch Linux is its package management the problem with Arch Linux is rolling release it's not a problem it's a feature but the problem is you have to often update your system and as soon as you install so many softwares in your system sometimes it happens that you are updating a system at a 4 GB or 5 GB data so maybe you get stuck at internet access maybe you can stuck at a disk size like you have to download 5 gb of data and the upgrade net upgrade size is only 5 mb only 5 mb changes are made in your system but the problem with ubuntu is sometimes you add some unofficial ppa and you get stuck at the package which are like malicious and or virus like it, it don't links don't have viruses but we can say that maybe you you stuck at dependency cycle what is dependency cycle is like one package need first version of that dependency but the second package needs second version of that dependency and now two packages are quarreling for one package for different versions so you get stuck at versions dependency in ppa so you have to find uh, like you have you try to use snaps but snaps are like it it against of linux rules like you you are using a windows type of things like uh, snap always have dependency in their package but it contains a lot of space on your hard drive and that's why there is a the, this is the one of the reason why i moved to linux now when it comes to video editing R Linux also have kd live ubuntu also have kd live but ubuntu has lot more stable version of kd live and another thing is when you update Arch Linux, if something get broken, you have to fix it. This thing also happened to Ubuntu, but Ubuntu guys reconfigured all the softwares for you. So you don't have to like you, you, you don't have to spend a night for just configuring your OS after update. But in Arch, it's different. You have to configure everything for you. So as you can see, I am using here Arch Linux, but the problem is whenever I type something here, the keyboard is very slow response in Arch Linux. Like when I type M, it appears lot more delay 
in chromium but this usb stick has ubuntu 17.04 i think i don't know the sub version but it has a 17 version so that's why i am moving towards uh, trying to move for ubuntu so let's get a live usb so here is a preview for problem in arch if i i don't have to preview this one so if there is a password sorry now as you can see there is too much loading in arch linux now let's get into something search so if i search something like so as you can see the loading is uh, like one millisecond but it's still a lot more for linux now let's boot into ubuntu so i have pre prepared ubuntu live boot already so i have to just plug it into my laptop So here it is UFI HP pen drive. Now try Ubuntu. Voila, Ubuntu is booting. So here it is Ubuntu 17. I don't know the version, but maybe we can try your name dash a. So it's uh, 17. How can I know? So as you can see it's 17.10 so let's move around for another thing so let's see a search in Ubuntu now I have to blur again now let's search something So, as you can see, the delay is like nothing against Arch Linux. So, that's the main difference to moving. And another difference is, when I try to update, it's only, I have to only update after 6 or a month or maybe 12 months. I can use this system as long as I want. Like, whenever... It's not like Arch, I have to update it daily or maybe we can say monthly or weekly, whatever you call it, in rolling release. So that's the main difference in Arch. You have to update. It's, it's a rolling release. You can't do anything. So maybe you guys now know the difference between Arch Linux and Ubuntu. You can choose whatever you want. I was a Ubuntu user, I was a Linux Mint user and then I moved to like, uh, then I moved to Manjaro Linux, I used, I have used Antargos, both are good OS, but the problem was, uh, the, but the problem with Antargos, it was again like online installer, installer in Arch, so you can say Antargos has its own repository, which has Google Chrome also, but Arch I prefer Arch. If you use Arch uh, flavoring distro, there are so many problems with packages because they are all using Arch repositories. And Arch guys are configuring Arch packages like for their OS. And if some flavored OS has customized their configuration, they forgot to change configuration of that Arch uh, con that Arch packages. They directly use. Arch packages and frankly says 
Arch users, like Arch packages are like vanilla packages. They don't configure, you have to configure everything. Uh, well, I say I can say that if one developer has developed one like Firefox guys, uh, like Mozilla guys, Mozilla has developed Firefox, but Arch will never add anything to Firefox for compatibility. Like Ubuntu, Ubuntu has its own flavor of Firefox, but Arch, but Arch developers never add anything to the any packages. So we can say that it's untouched. So you want to use untouched packages, go with Arch. You want to get a pre-configured system where you can just install your system and get ready to go, use Ubuntu. So you are like office guy or a developer who wants to ready-made thing, go with Ubuntu. If you want to learn Linux, you want to configure Linux, you want your own flavored Linux, go with Arch. You can do all these things in Ubuntu, but Ubuntu might be little but Ubuntu will might break at some point but Arch will never break you can customize as your thought so thank you guys for watching might be this vlog is contain lot more talk but I find maybe it is helpful for beginners like newbie I need this type of guide on websites I find some pieces of guide and then merge with this guide and I have also written a blog might be I don't know when but I have written Arch Linux versus I don't remember. So let me guys know in the comment section if this comparison is good or bad. But you can compare a rolling, rolling release with a fixed release. But we can say I, uh, which is user friendly, which is easy or which is hard. We, we can't say uh, Arch is better on Ubuntu or Ubuntu is better on Arch. Both are say, both are good at their own flavor. So you want to use Yawat, which is fast, which is fantastic packet manager in all the Linux distribution. I like Yawat because you have to just press like Yawat and package name, and you feel fine, and you can install it. Where in case of Ubuntu, you have to add PPA. That's nothing. So thank you for watching, and see you in the next one.